Hey y'all, let's check out Amira. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna to be checking out this Japanese themed land. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I'm shy. And on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you guys are interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So with this land, they actually have a hood that you can get um, when you come here. You can click this little TP and it'll give you a hood and it shows you around a lot of different places. Um, today we're going to be looking around um, Imura. They have a couple others that I wanted to show you that I want to show you guys, but we'll, we'll start off with this location. So first things first, you guys, OMG, we hit the 500 mark, the 500 subscribers mark. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. It is an absolute pleasure to be able to go around these places with you guys. And I'm just so glad that you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am enjoying it. So just a huge thank you to all of my supporters, everyone who just... It's here for the journey, you know? I shall appreciate y'all. So this space, I'm not sure what this space is, but they have a lot of cool little gadgets in here, if you will. A lot of cranks and things like that, and I like stuff like this. So I like the little fan right here. So when I panned out, this space doesn't seem like it's very large, but they have a lot of different spaces that you can go into. So I do like that. I definitely want to um, show you guys a lot of the other spaces that they have. So real quick, um, not an outfit check, but I just wanted to show you guys my holdables because you guys know I love a good holdable. You know, I'm just wearing some a regular little outfit, you know. So I got um, this from Guess. Yeah, a weekend sale from Lil P. It has a little camera and it comes with a phone and a drink with a little film. I think it is super cute super duper cute so they do have this train here now from what i am noticing the train seems fairly stationary so i think you probably can take pictures in it and stuff like that but that's about it but it's super cute i really like how they um have it where you can come in and you can sit and take like some nice little pictures and things like that i really love the rocks like how the rocks are just like very edgy they're not like your the rocks that we kind of like normally see when we are um looking around lands i just want to see what this is so they have little benches and things like that so yeah this is a really cute space i love all of the um bamboo it's so nice so they have two different ways we can go so we're going to go this way first everything is so scenic and beautiful thus far i love how everything kind of transitions into other spaces this is a beautiful bridge look at the water you guys know i love a good stream super nice love that water i love all the colors here i am in a shared environment so i am really liking that um this is a really nice shared environment because i didn't want to have to change it because when i came here i really did like it um when i initially found this place i'm like okay I'm definitely gonna go and show you guys around oh look at the little kitty cat with the pink how adorable and then they have these umbrellas and you can take a free umbrella I like that. I love I love some nice free gifts. I really like that. And so then this seems like a little, just a beautiful water stream for viewing. I'm not sure if there are like seats or anything in here. It doesn't seem like this is a space um, that you can actually sit in, but more just like a space to admire. The pictures here would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love all of the lanterns and things like that that they have the paper lanterns really pretty so they seem to have a lot of interesting spaces and the spaces kind of just like melt into one another so this kind of seems like a just like an open dance type area is same like if you wanted to have a little party over here you can have a party over here then they have the little dj booth i love that they give you um opportunities for different kind of pictures and kind of different um role play 
within their different sections and the different spaces. You guys know how I feel about DJ equipment. Love it. Love me some DJ equipment. I like the little keyboard. The DJ equipment always is so detailed and I think that's what I like more than anything. I love all the little like buttons and trinkets and things like that. I do love those things. So what else do they have over here? These pictures are super cute. And then there's another cat over there. Okay, so it's some it's it's a lot of cats over here. I really like that I I, I'm a cat lady. I, I I love a dog. I love a cat. I ha I have a dog, but I love a cat too. Well, it's my it's my brother's dog to be exact, but it's a it's a family dog. So remember, we saw these um, flowers on another land that we visited not too long ago. Oh, the little bunny! Look at this. So it's super cute over here very very cute thus far the little sleeping bunny with the birdie so adorable i love it so yeah more cat i love how they have like the cats are kind of like posed in um like human poses if you will i really like that i love that little statue there let's look at the statue really quickly so yeah this place has um when i got the hood that they give you it had a lot of different um places that you could um venture around to i haven't checked out um any of the other spots this is where i landed at um initially so i'm like okay well we'll start here and then i'll check out uh, some other landmarks a little bit later on and when i drop down if i like what i see you know we'll go and look at those places as well i love that this is like a little uh, like a cat community super cute but the cats have like human roles like this is a, a food stand but it's run by cats how cute is this beautiful i love 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 how they mesh these items very very nice very nice so i hear a lot of people talking about this new um oh i forgot the name of it the enzo um, it, that I guess it's supposed to be like something um, similar to the Sims or something that's possibly able to compete with the Sims or even kind of replace the Sims. Everybody has really been really excited about it and it looks super cool. It definitely does look super cool. I really like how now um, people are coming out with a lot of different um, virtual worlds for people to explore and be in because I guess they're catching on that people this is something that people really enjoy in their pastimes um, something that's very um, different from like a, a video game like a actual game that has like um, an objective and things like that that's the part of the reason why I don't really like calling Second Life a game um, because it doesn't have an objective there's no you know it's no goals to it you just come and explore and enjoy the spaces i love all the detail that they put into the land with all of the paper lights and then the falling like leaves from the trees i love all of the different colors i love the sky the shared environment is so nice over here it is so pretty Oop, and then we have somebody she looks like she's taking pictures possibly i want to get over to this space but i don't know how i don't know am i just okay we're just gonna go through here and see what we can see okay more cats i love it so this is definitely like a, a cat community that that has like a human flair to it i really love how they incorporated that where it's like yeah they're cats but it's like if cats were able to like run a town it would be like this i love this little house that you can go into it looks like you can can you sit on these i don't know if you can sit in here but it's really pretty this is like a whole like little market we're gonna start over here 
and see so this is a super cool place to go i think this place would be really good for like a first date or just like a place to come and chill it's very um playful it has a very nice playful vibe to it, it does have seating spaces but it um not a lot of seating spaces this is more like a walkie um look around type land and i do like those you know i rarely do a lot of sitting when i am um touring places i really i'm i'm mostly walking unless they have like a look at this cat balancing the umbrella with the box i know talk about talented you know unless they have like a guided tour now if something is a guided tour then yeah i'll go ahead and sit down and enjoy the guided tour but i don't do a lot of sitting um on these lands not the cat fishing i know that's right so this is one of those lands where you just kind of walk around and enjoy um what you see i'm getting lots of pictures lots of pictures so this is one another like a little food booth. I love it with the little kid, the little cat kid, the little kitten. I'm like mommy, mommy, I want that. And it's like, wait a minute, let me get my purse. I love this. It's so playful over here. I love all the colors. Everything is so colorful. You guys know this is one of my favorite themes in Second Life. They always, oh, they always do so well with these themes. They always do so well with them. I have yet to come to like um, a Japanese inspired Sam or a Chinese inspired um, Sam and it's not like absolutely aesthetically pleasing. I just love it. They are always so aesthetically pleasing. And you know me, I, I, love, I love the beauty. I love the beauty of Second Life as a whole. One of my favorite things to do is to venture around. And of course, you know, I loves me some food. So is this like a hot pot? I think this is like a hot pot. So I'm thinking about bumping up my um, videos. I do two videos a week. I kind of want to do three a week, but I don't know because I do want to start um, going to a different platform like kind of I don't think I saw this little cat right here I wanted to look kind of going off into different platforms right now I only post on YouTube and I feel like um, now that I'm comfortable with the videos and kind of like the vibe of everything as far as the frequency that I post I feel like it's kind of time for me to um, venture off and kind of experience other platforms as well so that other platforms can know that I exist because right now it's like if you ain't finding me on they on not Facebook if you're not finding me on YouTube I don't really know if you gonna find me now when I do check my analytics I noticed that people do share my item my uh, videos I don't know where I'm talking about items while I'm looking at these items but I don't know who's sharing these things and I'm like I don't know if that's bringing me traffic or if people are just like oh look at this cool video so I don't know all I know is the subscribers are coming from YouTube because that's where I'm at at so um I want to venture to different platforms but I'm not sure where to go you know people say TikTok, and then other people are like oh you know instagram and then some people are like you know facebook are they like this looks like a place where in real life you pay for parking that's what it looks like but i don't know what this is but these cats are adorable every last one of them absolutely adorable so I know that I do want to go to another platform just to kind of um, get myself out there more. In the beginning when I first started uh, making these videos, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to stick to YouTube first because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. I love this artwork. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with posting on a lot of different platforms. I wanted to get comfortable posting on YouTube before I kind of ventured out. And now I am comfortable posting on YouTube. And so now I'm like, okay, it's, it's time. It's time to go ahead and 
go to some other places and also of course still posting on youtube of course but kind of just getting myself out there more so that people can find me in different spaces and i'll be i can be able to um bring them over to um youtube because this is going to be my main posting platform i love youtube i love making these videos and being able to post these videos i just you know i want more people to be able to see me we have we're having a really good um momentum with um everything that's going on with this channel everything that we're building and i just want to kind of let other people know like hey you know we cool over here we real chill i love my community everybody is so cool i always get like those um couple of comments where it's always like the offering people that want to like get on the con under the comments and say something weird or be have some type of like racist undertone to them i'm always ready for the smoke but i think once they realize i'm ready for the smoke they don't want to do it no more and i'm like don't get scared now don't get scared now don't post something and then don't want to interact with me when i'm like okay so yeah let, let's get into it and they're like nah, i don't want to do that so like i had a post back when i did my video where i went to a land and i dressed up as tigger from um winnie the pooh and somebody commented and said um you know what you know what word rhymes with tigger trying to be racist and i'm like no what and then it was crickets it was nothing else and then when i went to their page they were like um someone that was like outwardly racist like basically in their profile was like yeah i'm racist and what about it but when i was like okay yeah let's do this what what rhymes with tigger they didn't want to they i never heard a response from them so it's always like stuff like that that type of stuff does not bother me um in the least i still look at it as interaction and it's just like you, you say it on the internet because you're not going to say it to nobody in real life and you know if you're a coward just say that and that's really just how i feel about it so i never feel no type of way when people leave like crazy comments like that but i do enjoy all of the other comments from you guys i love interacting with y'all i need to get um i want to make sure that i'm trying to respond to my comments in a timely fashion um i i, I try to do them in the most timeliest fashion timeliest you look we, we making up words here that i possibly can um but I, I don't ever want to rush with my responses so I always try to wait until I know that I'm going to have a nice amount of free time to um, respond to the comments with um, that and, and make it meaningful I don't ever want to respond to a comment and people are reading the comments like she just responded to respond you know she just wrote anything like I really want you to know that I care about what you are um, commenting and I want to respond to you in in that manner because I care about my response just like I care about um, you commenting so I definitely want to kind of get better I'm um, not kind of but get better with my response time I don't think I'm bad but I could be better you know you can always you can always get better so this seems like a little fishing dock I love that all of the cats are like really big and fishing look how beautiful this guy is it's like a rainbow it's like a rainbow it's giving aurora borealis but not really but the color combinations is kind of giving me that um i guess i really don't have another um word to kind of describe it as but it's so beautiful how it goes into the purples and the blues and then the blues go into the orange with like a tint of the red and then let's see what it looks like yeah look how pretty that is everything's just kind of flying around it's so pretty look how pretty this land is uh beautiful i really do like it so you guys this is amira the landmark for this place will be in the description box below make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time